hello welcome to how to solve this radical equation square root of 2 to the power square root of x minus square root of 2 to the power square root of y is equal to 60 we can write this square root of 2 as 2 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power square root of x minus and we can write this square root of 2 as 2 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power square root of y is equal to 60. Next, according to the rule of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 1 over 2 by this power square root of x. 2 to the power 1 over 2 times square root of x, square root of x over 2 minus 2 to the power 1 over 2 times square root of y, square root of y over 2 is equal to 60. Next, we suppose that square root of x over 2 is equal to m and square root of y over 2 is equal to n. Let square root of x over 2 is equal to m and square root of y over 2 is equal to n. Then this equation becomes 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to 60. Now, because 2 to the power m minus 2 to the power n is equal to a positive number. So, this number 2 to the power m is greater than this number 2 to the power n. 2 to the power m is greater than 2 to the power n. And from here we conclude that m is greater than n. So, we can suppose that m is equal to this number n plus something. Let m is equal to k plus n. And we put this value of m k plus n in this equation. Then this equation becomes 2 to the power k plus n minus 2 to the power n is equal to 60. Next, according to the rule of exponents a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. We can write this 2 to the power k plus n as 2 to the power k times 2 to the power n minus 2 to the power n is equal to 60. Next from here we can take 2 to the power n as common. 2 to the power n as common and in bracket we get 2 to the power k minus 1 is equal to and if we factorize this 60, 60 divided by 2, 2 30 times 60 and 30 divided by 2, 2 15 times 30. We have here 2 times 2 and 1 time 15. So, we can write this 60 as 2 to the power 2 times 15. No, it is a fact that any power of 2 is an even number. So, this 2 to the power n is an even number and this number 2 to the power k is also an even number. And when we subtract 1 from this number, this number becomes an odd number. And at the right side, this number 2 to the power 2 is an even number and this number 15 is an odd number. 
so we write even number equal to the even number and odd number equal to the odd number at left side the even number is 2 to the power n is equal to from right side we write this number that is even 2 to the power 2 and we write this odd number equal to this odd number 2 to the power k minus 1 is equal to at right side the odd number is 15 from here n is equal to 2 and from here 2 to the power k is equal to 15 we move this minus 1 to the right side plus 1 2 to the power k is equal to 15 plus 1 16 next 2 to the power k is equal to we can write this 16 as 2 to the power 4 and from here k is equal to 4 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that m is equal to k plus n we have supposed m is equal to k plus n we can find the value of m by putting here the values of k and n m is equal to the value of k is 4 plus the value of n is 2 so m is equal to 6 now we have the value of m 6 and the value of n n is equal to 2 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed square root of x over 2 is equal to m and square root of y over 2 is equal to n we have supposed square root of x over 2 is equal to m and we have supposed square root of y over 2 is equal to n in this equation we put the value of m 6 square root of x over 2 is equal to the value of m is 6 and if we multiply both sides by 2 we get square root of x is equal to 12 and we take a square of both sides at left side square and at right side square this square will be cancelled with this square root and the value of x is equal to square of 12 is 144 this is the value of x now in this equation we put the value of n 2 square root of y over 2 is equal to the value of n is 2 and if we multiply both sides by 2 we get square root of y is equal to 4 and we take a square of both sides at left side square and at right side square this square will be cancelled with this square root and the value of y is equal to square of 4 is 16 now to verify that these values of x and y are correct or not we put these values of x and y in the original equation the original equation is square root of 2 to the power square root of x minus square root of 2 to the power square root of y is equal to 60 in this equation we put the value of x 144 and the value of y 16 this square root of 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 over 2 to the whole power square root of we put here the value of x 144 minus this square root of 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power square root of y square root of we put here the value of y 16 is equal to 
60 next 2 to the power 1 over 2 times square root of 144 is 12 minus 2 to the power 1 over 2 times square root of 16 is 4 is equal to 60 from here to 1 time and to 6 times from here to 1 time to 2 times and here left 2 to the power 6 minus 2 to the power 2 is equal to 60 2 to the power 6 is 64 minus 2 to the power 2 is 4 is equal to 60 64 minus 4 60 is equal to 60 from here you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so it is proved that the values of x and y are correct